Hi guys and welcome back to Koi Fish Johnny. Right, in this episode we're going to be recording the fish's growth throughout the year. As you know, this isn't the episode that I wanted to do, or well, it's an episode I wanted to do, but it should have been including 14 more fish, as I lost 14 of them. So we're going to be measuring the remaining 10, plus the three newbies to see if there's any growth on them. We're going to have a little, little inspection and then I'll show you what we've managed to achieve throughout the year in the growth. It's going to be a bit of a peculiar episode, like I say, because we started with 24. I lost uh, all my big ones, so I'm just left with the little ones. Um, there seems to be a bit of growth, um, but by no means were they the super growers of the year. So we're just going to be scooping them out. If you excuse the back, that is because I brought everything round from the other side. Uh, the polycarbon sheets, I think they're called, from the old conservatory, conservatory roof that we use to put the cover on. And my idea this year is to pop the polycarbon sheets across, and then I'm gonna put the netting there, across the, across the top of the pot, across the top of it. And then I'm actually gonna use some tarpaulin to cover it, just because we get so much debris coming down from this big, big tree, a lot comes down. It's starting to come down, so I'm having to take action now. But before I put the roof on, obviously I'd rather get the fish out now than take it off, mess around and do loads of stuff. So I said we'd be doing it in October, we're doing it now and we're going to be pulling out 10, 10 koi and my three newbies. That's what I got, 13 koi now. There was supposed to be 14 but that hasn't happened and not been able to work. So we're just going to be sticking with the 13 now and that'll be the end of us for the season. I've got my trusted sock net, I must have. Uh, I think that was 25 quid, amazing bit of kit for getting them safely out of the pond into the measuring bowl and then from the measuring bowl back into the pond. That is a bit of kit that I really, really do recommend that you get if you haven't already got it. Um, so onwards and upwards, I'm gonna try and catch them uh, and get them in the bowl, get them measured up and see what type of growth we've got for, for the year. Okay, so wish me luck guys, cause this is gonna be a tricky one. Okay guys, so we have Elsa, one of the bigger ones, my Kajaku, uh, that survived the Pizazim Pamangai nightmare. Um, and here she is. Come on, big girl. Turn around, beautiful scalation on her. A little bit of like... There we go. I measured her before, she's at 36. 36 centimetres for the lovely, sweet Elsa. Named by James, who is um, a friend's son. Beautiful, look at her there, going into the light. Sensational. Okay guys, so next we've got White Walker. That has nearly died twice on me, but keeps surviving. Uh, coming in at 30 centimetres now. Pop you around so you can see. Nice. I can't remember the... Sorry about the sun. Can't uh, remember the exact breed of this fish. It's though. Love a light blue tinge to her. 30 centimetres. So it's a bit of growth on, her, on him. He was temporary leader feeder. So there he is, beautiful. Hi guys, so next in is Ed, the Gimring, uh, the Gimring Benny guy, uh, I believe, as told by Vince. <laughs> Jack, stand down, son. 35 centimetres, so quite a bit of growth there. Quite a few little shimmies down the side and on the back. That seems to be developing quite, that's been present for a long time. But the other little dots seem to be coming about. Okay guys, so next on the, on the list is, odd job, and he's 28 centimetres. So he's odd job because he's got odd eyes, but he has got a little Benny, a bit of Benny coming through the middle of his head, which will be interesting to watch grow over the years. There he is. Quite an unbalanced pattern, but you can see there's the uh, Benny coming through the top of the head. Uh, when you compare that to my new Sanke, well, there's a world of difference, but still a beautiful fish and very, very, very dark sumi, I'll tell you that. Lovely. Okay guys, so now we've got the Goshki that hasn't got a name. It's 27 centimetres. Let me pop you over the top. I believe this one is male. Long, thin, big tail. Uh, I do love Goshkis. I do love Goshkis. Big Phil G's got a beauty that he got. So have a look at my little 27 centimetre beast. Lovely. Lovely. 27 centimetres. Quite a nice little fish. Quite thin. Exactly. A lot of developments come from this fish, I think.
Okay guys, so that concludes. I'm just going to be measuring those nine because it's got the look of doom from the wife because it's weekend and I'm only looking after one child, not giving her a break from the other one. So we've measured all nine. I don't really see the point in doing the new three other than the fact that Jaffa is scoffing his face and he definitely, definitely grown because he looks bigger than the new Sankey. And when he came into the pond, he was allegedly one centimetre smaller. So Jaffa is looking like, well, he's the leader of the pond. He does look like he's going to provide a lot of growth coming into next year. So that's exciting, which we'll measure him again in the spring. Um, yeah, so for now, I'm going to have to cut this short. I'm not going to measure Eric, the golden tench, because he hasn't grown at all and he's been through a lot in his life like i say this journey started with a sunken pond here we jumped in we rescued him we bought him friends we got into this lovely amazing hobby and that's how we ended up enjoying uh the koi hobby it is absolutely amazing so on that little bombshell i'm gonna try i'm gonna have to postpone putting the roof on and insulating the sides that'll be for the next episode and guess what? It's, it's Koi Fish Johnny's birthday coming soon. I literally started the channel, uh, I think it was the 15th of October. So I'll probably do a little cake or something. Imagine what that's going to be. Um, just to mark the one year anniversary of Koi Fish Johnny. And honestly, it has been amazing. So much better than I thought it would be. I didn't expect to get so much knowledge, meet so many people, to be educated by so many people, have so much support from people, and have 1,300 people take the time out to subscribe to my channel, and not to mention the people that just watch it. And the fact that everybody in this is just so, so, so supportive, it is like a credit to YouTube to have such a facility where you can put on information like this. Uh, and if you're contemplating joining YouTube, I definitely, definitely would. Not for the money, because you're not going to make much through the adverts if you only have a small amount of followers, but just for the community, the knowledge, and just the sense of, in this hobby, it can be quite lonely, and a lot of problems to figure out, a lot of problems to figure out, and a lot of mistakes to try and avoid. So if you join something like this, like YouTube, or join the channel, or anything like that, the amount of information that comes along with it is priceless, and I literally mean priceless. So please stay tuned. I hope you like and subscribe. This episode was the episode I was looking forward to at the start of the season, but as you can see, going through it, it isn't, it isn't, it isn't the episode I wanted. Do you know what I mean? All my big boys going um, and stuff like that. But it is the episode that I sort of want behind me so we can crack on with a load of other stuff if I get time. Because like I said, life is just ultra busy at the minute and I love doing this and I don't want to just upload just loads of little bits of nothingness. I'd rather it consist of something. Um, I'd rather it be something and especially something positive. Because in this world, there is too much negative and we try and stay positive. Take the, take the mickey, have fun, light-hearted and also you can learn and grow as we go um, and hopefully you can avoid mistakes like that, that I make especially with potassium permanganate so on that note I'm just going to drop you over the top of the pond and get myself off um, into the house and try and get in those good books with a wife take care guys and here's Jaffa <laughs>